All right, everybody, this is uh, our next plant, uh, Ceanothus thyrsiflorus in the Ramnaceae. Um, and the Ceanothus is uh, common names generally like California lilac. Um, this one sometimes is called blue blossom. It's got uh, really pretty blue flowers in the, in the springtime. Um, this is a, a small tree or a shrub, and it's got uh, simple alternate leaves. And um, it's in the same section of Ceanothus as Ceanothus oleganthus, which we learned last week. In fact, it's pretty similar looking to Ceanothus oleganthus. Um, it also has these uh, kind of oblong uh, elliptical leaves um, that are, have fine serrations sometimes, and you can also see those little black glands sometimes at the, at the, at the leaf margin. Check out this. Um, the leaves are strongly three-veined. And they are um, kind of a dark glossy green on the top and a little paler green on the bottom. Maybe um, more green on the other side than um, Ceanothus oleganthus. Um, the best character, however, is the stems. And the stems are um, what we call ribbed or angled. Um, they are not cylindrical. They are not circular in cross-section. Um, they definitely have angles to them, and you can see that really plainly, um, especially as you get towards the tip of a branch. Uh, Ceanothus thyrsiflorus lives in um, woodlands and forests and chaparral, um, but generally in wetter habitats than Ceanothus oleganthus. Um, I do know some places where they both grow, um, and that's generally um, right near the coast where you have uh, sharp transitions, you know, maybe where uh, on the side of a mountain where it's, it's kind of wet on one side and then you have a dry side and you can see both of these species growing together. But here at uh, Samuel Taylor State Park, uh, you'll only find Ceanothus thyrsiflorus, and it's a common uh, plant in um, Marin County, Point Reyes here. And, Although I'm pretty sure you can find it in the East Bay, although sometimes it's planted because it's a pretty, um, because of the pretty flowers, um, people like to um, sometimes put in their yards. And I, I know at, at Tilden Park, um, the, when I've seen this plant, it looks suspiciously like it's been planted. Um, like uh, many ceanothus, uh, it'll when it it'll kind of die back, and then it'll just keep the branches on the tree. Um, and this is uh, a strategy that the plant uses um, to promote fires. Let's see, note this loves fire. They loves to burn up, and because its seeds um, are stimulated by fire, and they germinate and um, are very competitive after a, after a fire sweeps through. All right. To sum up, Ceanothus thyrsiflorus has got simple alternate leaves that are strongly three-veined. Um, they're kind of glossy green, and they have. Um, irregular um, serrations on the margins with little black dots often. Um, and they have ribbed stems, these ridge, ridges on the stems, so they are not cylindrical in cross-section, like its close, close relative Ceanothus oleganthus.